Fortunately for Navi, they also got a good D ward. Like the first century they dropped, they actually got a high ground ward on their side of the river that was dropped by Fnatic. So for the early game, at least, they're only going to have one ward worth of vision, and I'm not sure. A boss to get three decays on him. Tombstone's dropped. He's only got 378 health. I think he's dead. I think he's incredibly dead. He's not going to be able to stay down the Tombstone. Trying to go for the runaround isn't going to happen. And John, oh, that's down. We'll find the return kill onto Johnny. But nonetheless, losing the roaming bounty, getting yourself first blood on the position one Razor. The thing is, that he actually died to creeps in bottom lane. Can see another dive here? Now yeah, going in not to KYXY, could be in a bit of trouble here. Trying to turn this one around with the burst damage is not going to be quite enough to bring that. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. KYXY gets the kill onto Funic, and he gets out. And Walsh has got to be very, very careful where he treads here. Because they're ready to go, and they're going to go for it here. Have walked in a lot of trouble. Tombstone drop. There's going to be a TP coming in from Artstyle. Will he be able to get the Shadow Grove off? Yes, he will just in time. With the TP as well coming in from Snake on the Nugget. Might be enough to save Havort. No! CM there with a the final right click. Just in time. Timed perfectly against the Shallow Grave. Will find the kill. And here comes Johnny looking for Artstyle. No, he's not. He's going to leave it. Johnny's not coming today. For now, Fnatic definitely the ones winning laning phase. Bottom lane, KYXY is in some trouble here. No. Right, he's not going to get himself out of that one. Will go down. Fnatic and Snaker. One. And he will be A-OK, -okay, at least for the time being. But top lane, Johnny. He does not want to give up, man. He just wants to try to go for kills. Cassie's coming in as well. He's going to have to back up, yeah, Johnny, to remove that static link. Mid lane, Seneca. This is a four man game. Right here. Dreamcon jobs as well. Mushi in a lot of trouble. Has got the blood right out, though. Doesn't matter, though. They'll lose the Bloodseeker. Maybe they can find something on the back of it. Looking for Arstar, but Arstar will get the Shadow Grave off. Ohio's turned up here. Trying to fight through this. Has dropped down the Tombstone. Arstar sticking around. Trying to get rid of the zombies down the Tombstone. Not going to happen. Arstar to full Funny. Trying to get rid of the Tombstone. He will. Funny just able to get himself out. No! Again, CM with these right clicks. Gets a Kimba. Just too much for Na'Vi. Second kill there for the side. And they're all they're going to look for more. Ohio moving forward, Zaneko, he's coming a little bit too far, that's a double kill for Ohio, Ohio's just destroying them, look at the decay stack, he's he got 1300 health in 7 <laughs> minutes, I clicked well, Zaneko, and he's got 2700 gold, oh boy, so the plan is, when in doubt, get Radiance, we, we need to make sure that the Naga Siren gets Radiance, that's going to be their fallback, now, it's still, I think, Fnatic's game to lose at this point. They definitely have a lead. Okay, that's that's aggressive. That's a very nice dream call as well. Mushi and Keskiba. Keskiba to full. Mushi's still alive, buying himself some time. Ohio has turned up, and now the song here. They're looking to take down the Tombstone, and this is Na'Vi now working perfectly as a team. Can they get the kills on the back of this? Mushi, he's going to get blown up straight away. The hero ball, Ohio, he's getting low on mana. He hasn't got a mech. He's already used it. Deadly catching him out in with the snowball as well from Funning. Ohio to full as well. KOX from the sideline. Can he do anything in response? I don't think he can. He needs to get himself out. Will zip himself back towards his base with the amount of mana that he's got. Three heroes to fall on Fnatic. Off the back of that, Zaneko, 3.4k god. They get this tower as well. He's pretty much got his goddamn relic. What's he got coming out of the curry? Is that the BKB? Ah, okay, no, he's, he's, he's the workings of one. He's got the Ogre Club on his way. Ah, okay, here we go. Zipping onto Artstyle. They want a quick and easy pick off, and then Artstyle the will find it. Dendi's there now with the Dream Call onto two. There's going to be TP's coming out as well, and there's Funny. Straight away with the Wolf's Punch of the KYXY. They're looking to try and bring down him, but the here we go with the Glimmer Cape. He's going to be okay. The song's coming out now for Zaneko. Is this a disengaged song? It certainly yeah, looks they like run. it. They want to get out of it. Dandy just clearing off these zombies. Uh, okay, rupture on turn four to zipping forth. They want to try and find him. We'll be able to use the last of his mana here to get off the main. It's not going to save him though. The razor will go down. And Fnatic proving that still with the aggression and the team fight that they've got, they can very easily take one against Narvi. Top lane, talking about farming. KYXY is looking for some. Needs to be careful though, because Dendi is Dendi around with the hex. Yeah. Actually going to live the long, wrong way here. Now he's to reveal himself. He's just trying to go in on Snaker, but there's the backup. Funny coming in first. He always gets the BKB out before the hex goes down. Now he really wants to get the Snark, and he might just find it. He does. Brings down Snaker. Now he's going to look to get himself out. He's out of mana, though. But the backup's here. Fnatic's turned up. This is the kind of fight that they want to look for. Denny's blinked himself away from this. And there will be a blink out from Funk as well. But they're going to chase it down here. Funny cross bitten up. They'll take him down as well. And Fnatic. Finding Navi out of place very, very nicely.
Phonix got 2k in gold and art style. He's picked up the Ghost Scepter. Other than that, a little bit of a poor game here for art style. Low summon net worth, but understandably so. Bit of tough one. On to the Blood CK here. Mushy getting caught out of the middle. going to be able to bring it down. Carol X by coming in, trying to turn this one around. Doing a lot of damage. It's a little bit low mana. Denny kept alive here with the Shallow Grave. And now there's your song. BKB is going to wear out. Can now be find something off the back of this here. They have got Mushi to worry about on the sidelines, but they've already taken down Johnny here on the Bounty Hunter. But no, Na'Vi, they just all the died. Party. The damage from Kessig's freezing field too much. And the fact you've got Mushi just running around at the speed of light. Art style drops as well. And Na'Vi, that was not the song of the siren setup that they needed. Might already be too late. You can see Saniko, he still hasn't even Radiant's felt pressured enough to teleport to base. Attack. He's saying, yeah, it's fine. I'll just sit up here, pop my Manta on cooldown, throw the mirror images at the tower. Like, this tier 3 top lane is taking more damage than the bottom tier 3 that Navi are being pushed in by right now. So, it's a little bit concerning. Oh, they're going to go in straight away with a Hex onto her force. They want to try and find her, but it's going to be fine. Now she's backing up because the Hex now kill x -Y. We'll be able to get the BKB out looking for the kill onto Funny, pulling them, but they are hard. It's Snowball there just in time, along with the Shallow Grave. And now it's going to be Fnatic getting themselves the hell out. Snowball chasing down KOX. What with the stun catch? No, he's able to just juke it out, but now we need the snare. Snake has turned up to the fight here, KOX, but we'll get Glimmer Cake Tubby. He's going to be fine for the time being because Na'Vi backing themselves back up to the base. And now KOX, why? He's looking for blood. He just goes straight in there. He is not scared at all. He knows that they cannot kill this storm. There's a freezing field here, because why the hell not? It looks pretty there from Kessakimba. Mushi continues to go in now. Kyle X with a hex onto Danny. She was guarded as well. They really when Mushi is down. Oh, God, just in time here with the Shadow Grave. Danny needs to get himself out. Can't go down. They've already lost Funnick here on the side of Navi. Now with the hex on the KYX Y. Buy back from Funnick here. And now Seneco going in. Can he clean this one? Is he the carry that Navi needed at this point in time? Kessick's able to retreat himself out. Johnny getting low, getting healed up by the Soul Rip here. Michael Dyke. There comes Funnick in with the balls. Three heroes down at the moment. They've managed to pop the edges here on Storm Spirit. Can they kill him for the second time? That's going to be the real testament to see if they can do it. But no, KYX is out. There. They're gonna go for the easier time. He's looking for Mushi. Mushi eats the cheese. He's a bit of a fan of the old Pokemon Zone. They're trying to continue to find this blood right being thrown down. A boss bringing Kessick by low. Kessick's still alive at this moment in time. KOX are just doing too much. Mushi low needs the life deal. Is he gonna find it? Mushi's gonna drop. KOX are getting psyched up. Can they kill the storm? Yes, they can! It's a team fight. Fnatic hit the deck. And Navi are able for what seems to be the first time in forever. Radiant's take an incredibly, incredibly convincing fight. Old Moonshot, ah, yeah, and that's something that I've overlooked. I'd like to see a bit of the old Moonshot Seneko Naga, that, and that's the dream there. Mushi. He's being eyed up here by Nafi, and here we go straight in onto Mushi. Here with the Hex as well. Can they bring him down? Yes, he can! That's your pussy get down for two minutes. That's up with the fight back, but it doesn't look like it's available. Okay, well, that's trying to fight back here. Putting an art style here. I'm not getting over with the Ghost Scepter, going to be okay. And now it's Nafi continues to fight. Okay, well, he's incredibly low, man, and he's be careful. There's a freezing field coming out from Kessinger, but coming out for the Roar punch there from Funny will cancel it. They lose KOA out as well. He will buy out straight away. But Kessinger yeah. on the sidelines. The, uh, the Mushi Bounty Hunter as well. Let's see down as well. They don't have buybacks. And Echo there with a the clutch song. TP's out. The Na'Vi side will escape. They did lose Funnick and Art Style at the back of that. But the fact that they were able to get Mushi off the map for Na'Vi. No, they're at a point now where they can quite easily lose a fight against Na'Vi if Na'Vi get the jump. Na'Vi, they're going to look to use the face to go for Roshi. But for now, smoked up. They want to contest this one. This is going to be big. It's a half hour for the moment. Kessig leading the way here. In we go straight away with the BKB. Now with the freezing Funnick trying to get the... No! With the work, but he's going to opt to use the snowball here. They have lost Arkstar here on the Dazzle. But Bork doing what he can here with the Eye of the Storm. Seneca running around as well, focusing on Hanushi. Mushi gets down, and he will be able to bring down her force before Seneca can save him with the Song of the Sirens. Seneca will simply TP out. They'll send Dendi back to base as well. They're going to go for it this time. Aegis, Cheese and Toe, as you were saying. Let's see what Na'Vi can do in order to stop this. They have got everyone up, and they're smoking up as well, looking for maybe to bait a KOX Y forward onto a Weave's going to get thrown down backs. by Art Star. A little sort of pop on KOX X Y as well to help him against the Scythe initiations. And here we go. Okay, fine. Give him the wall respect. They just have to follow it up now. KOX Y is a little piggy biggy. Oh, she's trying to chase it down. Look at the damage he is doing here. And also did get the static link off. And now the it's now holding Mushi back in place. Ohio and KOX Y grouped up. When he comes up with the BKB there straight away, they're trying to get Kessigan, but Kessigan again, but they will bring down the Crystal Maiden. So we're coming out just in time here from Funny. Mushi getting low. Look at the damage of Force is doing. It's doing too much. Mushi's going to fall. KOX Y trying to fight through this one. So now he's getting in the mirror's image and now chasing down Mushi. Mushi is fairly speedy. Trying to run himself away. Here we go. Now he's popping down the blood right. Can they kill Mushi? Getting low. The damage again. Her Force is doing so much with the AC and everything. Mushi can't run himself out of this one. Now they look towards Ohio. Ohio will get the hex out onto Seneco. But KOX Y, he's signed up from Dendi. KOX 
Now XY gets Warus poked in by Funnick. I hope he's going to duke it out into the sideline here with the Glimmer Cave. But Warus incredibly low, but he's got the, the shallow grave here from Arsenal. Mushi, can he find it? Can he get the life steal? No, he won't get the life steal. We'll get the kill though. He's getting so much. Mushi, he's going to live. It's a double kill for Mushi. He'll clear out the creepways as well. A TP was being attempted by Na'Vi. There's a buyback from Avorce, a buyback as well from Seneca. But they're a side of Fnatic. They back off after that one. Well, Na'Vi at this point. Very, very carefully, understandably so as well. What's have been upgraded here by Seneca? Still seeing on 5,300 going forwards, Fernay. Oh, getting okay. from Denny. Can they find Mushi now? Go XO pulling in straight away. Pop the BKB as well. Looking for Denny. Denny's being hexed up. Now Denny saw the Lotus Orb on himself, trying to turn it around. Mushi with his BKB and the Lotus Orb. But it's the song of the sound. Seneca maybe setting this one up. Mushi getting lower. Indeed, he will go down. That's going to be Mushi down for two minutes with that dive back. It's very quickly. Now look for KYXY. Can they get him? KYXY is getting low. But Kessie Gimba do want to count with the freezing feel. Pretty big. Kessie Gimba to pull the KYXY out of matter. And the war is punched there. But it being able to finish him off by back from Storm Spirit. Realizes his team needs him to turn this one around. Oh, keeping himself alive for the fair future case catch. And there we go. KYXY zipping straight back into the fight. He'll find Warp. Who's going to go for? He's going to go for Havorce here. Pulling him in. They've lost Dandy. They've lost Seneco. Neither of these heroes with buyback available. This KYXY buyback might just win the game here for Fnatic. He's looking for a force here. Go forward. Will he be able to get it? Arstal do what he can to keep him up. Arstal down. Pig. Pigs don't help people live. They help people eat. And that's going to be it. Potentially three heroes down on Na'Vi. Funnick stuff in the tree line. They're looking for him. Arstal tries to do what he can to keep his team alive. He says, guys, I'm trying my best here. It's not going to be enough. Funnick will get a shuriken to the backside. Buy back from Arsenal, but it's a dazzle trying to defend the base against three very, very angry members of Fnatic who are going to look to take the bottom set of racks and potentially more because by uh, Na'Vi, they haven't tapped out yet. I mean, it must be frustrating to get to 70 minutes in. Na'Vi, the bounty buys a book, Johnny buys a book in their base and pops at the push. Johnny, a good game, well played comes out from Na'Vi. It was always good at literature. How did Fnatic actually win this game? Like, wow. It was what a so place. bad for them what a after place. a while. Seneco, hats off to him. He did very well in terms of transitioning into that carry role. But at the end of the day, the plays from Fnatic, they brought that, they brought that A++ game. At the end of the day, the decisions they made at the end the two buybacks. were incredible. Yeah. The buyback from Mushi, which yeah. forced Seneco to buy back yeah. along with Havost, that was the thing that set yes. everything in motion. That because was it. then when KYXY had his buyback, they killed the two cores again right outside of Navi's base.